please. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. I don't know what to do. Is it too much to hope for this? Unless I am mistaken, all we require is already in our possession. I mislike it here. Peril seems to lurk around every corner. Caution is wise. Overcaution is foolish. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. What is it? Have you brought me something to sate my unquenchable thirst for knowledge? A book, perchance? No, -ho. a letter, is it? Let's see here. But know that tonight the moon shall again be shrouded in a veil of gossamer clouds. Awaiting the return of the sun's warming glow. Well, well. I'd not thought Deeds of the capacity for such refinement. Tis a love letter of a sort. One that draws on ancient symbolism to convey its message. The moon represents a woman, the sun, a man. Put simply, what this letter means to communicate is, I miss you. Ha! <laughs> A surprisingly saccharine sentiment coming from the Queen Regent. Would you not? I know not who this Phasus is, though it is safe to say that Disa is rather invested in him. What concerns me is this God's way mentioned in the first line. If we can take this letter at its word, and twas indeed granted to the Queen Regent, we can surmise that it must be something tangible, an object. As to what manner of object, however, I can only begin to guess, and I am not one for pointless conjecture. I suspect. <laughs> With the aid of Strasser Royal Library that was sealed off by a sovereign of some generations past. In a bid to pass the throne on to his own descendants, this sovereign, alas, would seem that, no matter the age, the avarice of those, yet tis clear it serves them. What can we learn from this? 